So coming from Ohio, you know, we saw a lot of kidney stones. But then coming down here for the year I've been down here so far, it's been there's stones everywhere. Everybody's just chronically dehydrated due to the sweating and the humidity, and that's usually the most common cause of kidney stones is dehydration. Hello, Dr. Evan Fines. I'm a urologist with Advanced Urologic Institute. You'll see a lot of people commonly go into the emergency room with abdominal pain and pain on their sides and throwing up. And one of the first things they, they want to check out is if you have a kidney stone or not. So down here, there's kidney stones run rampant. Usually there's, there's a lot of different surgical ways of treating a stone, but a lot of times these stones, depending on kind of the patient's clinical um, uh, outlook, we give them a chance to pass the stone. If, it, if it's depending on where it's in the kidney or it's close to the bladder and then the size of the stone. So a lot of times we try to do conservative management with medication to try to pass the stone. Otherwise, um, a lot of times we have to uh, go up and get the stone and, and use a laser to break it up, or sometimes we use shockwave lithotripsy and blast it with shockwaves from, uh, from outside the body. 